Ben and Zoe, which money are you talking of? Granny, actually, we bought some candies today. The shopkeeper mistakenly gave me some extra pennies, and we're discussing how to spend this money. No, my dear, this is not fair. Do not covet something that is not yours. Go immediately and return his money. No, Granny, we can't. This money is ours. Good kids do not insist. Okay, listen. I'll tell you a story. Sophia was very good at her studies. She did her work neatly and was always polite and helpful to everybody. Everybody <laughs> in the class loved her and admired her. One morning, when Sophia entered the class, all the children were gathered around Tina and was admiring her new pen. Sophia also saw the pen. It was excellent. In the meantime, the bell rang and everybody rushed downstairs for the assembly gathering. While the children were making their lines for the assembly, their teacher asked Sophia to bring some chalk from the classroom. When Sophia entered the class, she could not stop herself from peeping into Tina's bag. She wanted to see that pen. Just then, she saw Emily entering the class because she was not feeling well. In a hurry, Sophia quickly put the pen in her pocket and ran out with the chalk pieces in her hand. After returning to the class, Tina started searching for her pen. She informed the class teacher about the missing pen. Miss Green came to know that Emily was in the class during the assembly. Miss Green searched her bag but could not find the pen. She scolded Emily for stealing and gave her a day's time to tell the truth. Now Sophia was too afraid to get up and give the pen to Tina. As a sensitive child, Sophia spent a sleepless night thinking about the day. She could not forget Emily's face when Miss Green had accused her for no fault of hers. So she decided that she would keep the pen back in Tina's bag the next morning. When Sophia reached school, she saw Emily sitting very sad. She assured Emily by saying, maybe somebody will keep the pen back. But everybody will think that I have kept it back, Emily replied sadly. When Miss Green entered the class, she called Emily. Before Emily could get up, Sophia got up and accepted her mistake. She apologized and promised not to do something like this again. Instead of getting angry, Miss Green applauded Sophia for telling the truth in front of the class. Sophia was happy to have learned her lesson. Grandma, we, we got, got it. it. From, From now on, on we will not covet others' belongings.